Hey guys, we're back again. We're going to do another mini kit run. Yes, we always start out with one of these. We're going to do Dagobah. Uh, tell you what, if we uh, we'll replace that R2 because we're guaranteed to be given R2, obviously. The, there's a set pattern with these, given each one character each of what you need. And so we can be given a midget, a droid, and of course, since we've already got the red force. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, nice. Uh, yeah, of course, we're doing Dagobah uh, again. So, if you remember in the last session, we did this one. Yeah, if you're uh, new to the channel, sessions are when I record, because I record in bulk. So, I'll play one game for, say, about an hour and a half, and I'll then split that into chunks, so to speak, or videos as would be a better term for it. So, this is, I don't know what session this is. I honestly gave up with this one because, uh, oh, yes, got to get the studs as well. Uh, if you remember, uh, viewers from last time, we struggled a bit again. Such this, and that was mainly my fault. Uh, a bat. Is this was this uh, travel teleport gathering a little old Batman? Of course, it wasn't. Uh, now, how the hell do I get? Hmm. No, 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 no! Damn it! Maybe it's a different pattern. I'm gonna have to get that one. Oh yes, that would help. Oh yeah. I forgot because they're not made of Lego. That's a very dastardly trick. So if we switch to R2 and go in the water. Ah, oh, there's a lot of studs there. That'll be useful. Um, yeah. I'm trying to remember all the mini kits in this one. I think I might remember it. I should have. Oh, I'm an idiot. I could have done this in the first one. I had to... Well, I probably would have died and lost them all anyway. When I did this in story mode, I'm an idiot. Just glide, because he's kind of slow in the water. Uh, surprisingly, it doesn't, need, doesn't give you the need for a lot of characters in this one. I remember actually seeing this video somewhere where someone did hack the game, got some of the characters you were... that you don't have to play as. Uh, one of them, actually, was uh, the bar owner. Another one was surprisingly the Rancor. The Rancor monster, which... I'll be honest, that was probably the most surprising. I can't remember some of the other ones, they, that characters that were cut. Uh, I have to rewatch the video, I'll, I'll give it like another mention at some point. It's actually quite good. Uh, well, that's actually kind of strange. The Bar Owner... I'm... Oh. Really? Okay then. Uh, the Bar Owner, I, can, I don't quite understand why he was cut. The Rancor monster... Yeah, that might be kind of obvious because he's a monster. Uh, now, if I remember this correctly, just got to drive around and do this. Uh, but I need to build the vehicle first, which is tractor. Uh, let's go as fast as we can. You have to be pretty quick in this one. I, I, I don't like this, but I have a fond memory. I'm not actually sure because I haven't done this in years. On this game, I remember. Actually, I don't even recall doing it the complete saga during my. I've got the because I'd you know, so worked on that for the past few years. Um, um, I don't know if you talk to my friend Adam since you did that. Oh, there we are. Build this here tractor. I don't know why it's a tractor. It's not exactly a tractor. Well, I suppose it's one of those jump vehicles. Even though a tractor would be really slow. Especially when you're in a car or something. Okay, let's hope this thing moves fast enough. You're a beat intensifies. Oh, that was, uh, for some reason I recall that taking a lot longer and being a lot more difficult than it was. If I remember correctly, I think that one's rege that's regenerate hearts. I think that's more for the Xbox 360 version, because the Xbox 360 uh, version has achievements for every levels, saying don't die once, or whatever, uh, without invincibility. So it regenerate part of the uh, workaround on that one, because some of those levels are, well, let's just say, kind of a challenge, because you're bound, you're bound to make mistakes. And I mean, yeah, you're bound to make them. Uh, over a loop. 
Oh, I uh, don't need the draw, it's on the Uh, oh yeah, uh, I need to remember how to get over there, so if I switch to R2, I might just sod. Um, huh. How would I make that? Oh, that was... Maybe it was... Yeah. That might have made more sense. Oh! Okay. Move back over here. Uh, destroy these. Keep a stud. Keep a stud. We're still going for score times two. And I'm only about 1.6 million. Uh, you'll notice a small time inconsistency. I have just done Cloud City of Story Mode. I basically did just cheat doing it. I just literally just used R2. Self-destructed most of my way through most of it. Uh, really, really just gimped the uh, first boss part with uh, Vader. Not, well actually, I, when, when he just jumps up and you have to then switch to R2, rotate the platforms. I just did the uh, little trick I did in the first, in the video, when you saw it on the first time. I just jumped up the loop, I just did that the entire fight. It really makes that level a lot quicker and a lot more bearable. Probably a good speedrunning practice actually. But I'm not a speedrunner, so. Oh. You know, the AI could do that. I actually didn't know the AI could just stand on the button and it worked. Well, uh, alone, I mean. Because the AI has been stupid in the past. Yeah, so we're back here last time I checked. Oh, no, I don't want to accidentally strangle him. Or him. Uh, if I switch to Jower, actually, because I do need him to uh, go in here. Goody. And nothing's destroyable, that. Odd. Do I have I can't. Yeah, four minutes get out. There's another one. Surprisingly, nothing's destroyable unless it's, uh. This can go ugly. Nope, that is. odd. Nothing in there is destroyable. Are we, are we just not allowed to destroy Yoda's home? Now, trust me, I would like to go that route, but I mustn't because. Wait, I forgot about the bike. Oh, yeah, this one's, uh. Oh, yeah, the raft. I forgot what this takes me over here, but we've got to go down the route that we have. Uh, rather annoyingly. Because I'm pretty sure there's nothing mini down there. I don't know, I, it's been a while. Just remember, that is the basic solution to why I'm terrible. It has been a while. Um. Um, yeah. very much. Did I just, I'm just gonna go back in there. Did I just blend in? Can't even see my arms. Even though my TV is a bit too dark. Um, check that out. Technically I could have done that with self-destruct if I don't remember to do it. Oh well. Screw I'm just gonna switch to R2 and get this over and done with. Oh no I couldn't have got up there anyway. Oh well. Or could I? No, probably not. Uh, well, of course, get those studs there. Because we can. But we're not going. We're going to go through the uh, training route anyway. Because there is probably one or two. Uh... Oh, it's open anyway. Did I, did I open that? It, oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. No, I remember. It's already open in free play. Some levels, not a lot, like already adapt to the free play. A lot of back. Could say you're going batty. Oh. 
Okay, I really... Why does he allow me to force my own teammate? Because that does make things a lot harder and a lot more irritating. Because I'm just trying to force one of the objects and it just locks onto him instead. Oh yeah, come on, buddy. Speaking of an early reference made to Lego Batman, I've only played the first one, but by the looks of the sequels, it's the only one I really do want to play. I will probably play some of the later ones on the channel, but for me, being in all honesty, the Lego games really, I really stopped playing the Lego games. I think it was around Lego Harry Potter 1. 